What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. What is up? We got a whole lot of new mods. I don't even have time to do the whole intro. We're jumping right into it. First things first. 14 new mods. Well, not new. There's some updates. But these are 14. These are for everybody. Console, PC, Mac. You got a PlayStation 4. You got them all. You got a PC. You got them all, baby. This isn't even all of them. These are just the, the, the implements. These aren't even the placeables, which we got more placeables. Oh my gosh, I'm so hyped. There are more than 20 things here. Well, not here, total. Let's jump right in. First up, we have the Weber MT DSC 180. Oh, yeah, yeah. DJ, where am I gonna find that? You're gonna go into tools, you're gonna go to levelers, and then you're gonna go right here. There you go. So there's two options here, we can go PTO, or hydraulic so if you want to have this on the back if you want to have this on the front let's say you've got a front three point but you don't have a front hydraulic or a front uh, pto well, there you go you've got everything that you need to get the job done now this is going to be a compressor it sounds like a wah, 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 wah. it's really cool we had this in farming simulator 17 and i loved it next up we have the amazon t-pack this thing crazy I'm going to use it all the time. You're going to find this in weights, tools, and then weights. And we're going to bring it up over here. Here we go. Amazon T-Pack. You go standard, 800 kilogram front weight, 180, 280, 380, 480, 500, 600, 8, 780, 880. Whew. Oh, yeah. You know it, baby. You know it. So we've got all that right there. Boom. Now, if you don't use a weight, if you go standard, you've got attacher type. You've got rear attachment and front attachment. Rear attachment means that you can pick this up and you still can use the three point, which is awesome. Now you could probably do that on the front as well, but then you have front. What the front does is it doesn't give you the three point on the front, I don't believe. However, you do get to use it as weight very 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 cool how's about that that's just there's just something about it isn't it i love it i love it and i love it again that thing is very cool five grand's gonna get you that if you don't do anything to it now this guy right here we have been waiting for something like this and we finally finally have it the bow belts lf 180 log fork that's right we have a four pronged log fork now you can really hold on to those it won't teeter totter left or right it just does what it's supposed to do we're going to check that out you're going to go into front loaders you're going to keep going to the right there you go right there change the main color whatever you would want and that is it very simple very easy it will cost you right over a thousand dollars can cost you eleven hundred dollars more than the original stole version but nonetheless i mean come on we needed that we needed that big time and i've got the jcb over there the 4220 i've been testing it out works perfect next up we have a barrel weight we're going to go into tools into weights and it's going to be right beside your amazon t-pack at least it should be you could change your main color to whatever you would like and your attachers without trailer hitch and with trailer hitch. So if you're pulling around a trailer, but you still need this in the back, I would recommend always having a trailer hitch on something like this. If you notice, most of the other weights have trailer hitches on them. Now, some of the Fent ones don't, but most of the rest of them do. So I recommend highly getting a weight for it. Next up, we have loader. The loader is, uh, well, it's hard to find it's a tools miscellaneous and there you go it's by Gorin, and it will hold anything anything at all requires 60 horsepower to run uh, this is going to be a little dumper it is hydraulically powered you cannot do anything to it no color changes nothing it works just as a little tipper just a little tipper that you would hook on the back boom that is it that is so freaking cool Next, we have the Kuhn DC-301 and the Kuhn Satera 3000. Both of these go hand in hand. We've got a three meter subsoiler and we have a three meter cedar. We're gonna go check these out right now. Tools, subsoilers, gonna go past everybody and boom. 
to the coon. You can't do anything to it. It is what it is. So the way you're going to use this is you're going to hook it up to your tractor, to the back, and then back in and hook up to this guy. Now you have something that will plow, it will cultivate, and it will seed. Let's go take a look at this. This is going to be in seeders right below, all the way to the right. And there it is, the Coon Cetera. You could do wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflowers, cover, or not sunflowers, sorry, soybeans, cover crop, and grass. It is very cool. It looks great. It's going to be a good smaller implement. Um, I think a lot of these smaller implements are really for people who are doing more role play kind of things, um, not just getting in, playing the game, getting it done. But hey, you may have very small fields, you may have not a lot of money. So these are going to be what you want to use. Next up, why is everything so green, DJ? We got updates to the Deutz AgroStar Clearview. This guy right here. Doesn't look like a whole lot's changed, but a whole lot has changed. And we also got an update to the Stoll front loader. And with it, we got a bunch of tools. Now these may look just standard, normal Stoll tools. The thing is, they all have hoses attached. That's right, they all have hydraulic hoses attached. How cool is that? Let's jump in, we're just gonna hook up just a bit, just a little bit. Nice and easy as to not hit anything. We got it. And then we're just gonna hook up to the first implement that we see right here. Boom. And so now the hydraulic hoses have attached. Look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> I love it. That is way, way, way too awesome. Now your update change log for this guy right here, update 1.0.0.1. Fix the mass of front weights, sound improved, new 3D tail lights. Check those out. Nice. And indoor light revised and added color choice. So let's go take a look at this. It's going to be in small tractors all the way to the right as per usual. There you go. Main color. We've got a bunch of new colors. We go yellow, you go red, red looks good, all black, Arr, she looks mean, she looks good and she looks mean, rim color, I've added a couple more, we've got red, orange, yellow, black as we had before, configuration, you've got standard, 360 kilogram weight, 560, 760, 1060, and front hydraulic, now if you use a front hydraulic, you cannot have a front attacher, so just know that. Will Brand, you've got Michelin, you've got Trailer Borgs, and you've got Mitas and Nokian. So all kinds of good stuff there, all kinds of crazy wheel combinations and wild and crazy stuff, whatever you want. Let your imagination run wild. And then engine setups, we've got 170, 115, 130, and the 145, the big engine in there. And then front attacher, yes or no. There you go. Very cool there. Up next, we have the Joskin. I don't remember the number. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's go check it out. You're gonna go into trailers and it will be very far to the right because we have a lot of trailers. There you go, the Trans Space 7027. This holds literally everything. You can change your main color from yellow to green to black. You can change your design color from green to silver. Why do I keep clicking out? Rim color, same thing, yellow and gray. Capacity 25,000, 28,000, and 30,000 liters respectively. Will brand is going to be Trailer Borg or Michelin. If you select Trailer Borg, you'll have additional settings from standard to wide tires. And your design, you can go standard or mud guards. Either way. So we've gone for a pretty decked out version right here. Everything has been changed. Well, except for the bottom, rather. Kept that green. Give it a little bit extra oomph. Very, very cool. Very awesome. Great implement mods today. Really, I mean, they're smaller, yes, but useful. Everything has a use. And I think in some way, shape, or form, everyone, someone out there will be able to find something that they say, you know what, that's exactly what I've been looking for. I love it. Now, those are the implements. Let's go take a look 
at all of the placeable mods because we got some today. First for placeables, let's take a look at the placeable filling stations. So you're gonna find these in placeables miscellaneous and then you're just gonna have to start hitting right so we've got a, those at four of these i believe yes so we have seeds we have herbicide liquid fertilizer and solid fertilizer all of these are going to cost you one thousand dollars respectively so here is your uh, seeds your herbicide liquid fertilizer and solid fertilizer so the difference between your seeds and your fertilizer is, let's see if you can get down here, doesn't say seeds anywhere on it, unfortunately, but seeds are tall, solid fertilizer is short. And of course these tell you exactly, liquid fertilizer and herbicide. Very, very cool. Oh yeah, we've got a bee house, baby. We've got a bee house. The bees come out this way. Sound is good. It's it's not as like ear piercing as number or uh, form sim 17 was. Regardless, very very cool. You don't have to do anything for the bees. The bees just do their thing. So you're gonna find these in miscellaneous, not too far past where we were, right there. Bee houses, twenty thousand dollars to place one down, and if I remember correctly, it is. Hold up. So $25 if you're in easy, 16 if you're in normal, and $8 if you're in hard. And that is going to be for every uh and that is going to be for every hour. Very cool little guy right there. I like it. It's got a little light out here. Looks like the light is either on or it will be on. One of the two. Next up. Oh, let us in. Is the side open? What? Oh, wait, hang on. Do we need to open the door? Can we open the door? No, the door doesn't open. Let me in. Gosh, either way, check out what we've got here. We have, oh yes, they're back, baby. They are back. We've got the greenhouses. Let's check them out. Placeables, miscellaneous, We've only got two of them, so do keep that in mind. We've only got two. We have lettuce and tomatoes. Both are going to cost you 25 grand. These together will give you either, we got to make sure we get this right, $90 if you're in normal, $60 if you are in, or sorry, $90 if you're in easy, $60 in normal, and $40 per hour if you are on hard. Now, of course, we are in easy. We use easy mode to test everything. But there you go. Manure goes in here. Water goes in here. Same thing over here. These are not on raised huge platforms like they were in 17, which is good. So let's take our little JCB right here. Uh, we've got a Joskin Aquatrans on the back, and we've got our new Gorink little, little guy in the front. We're going to fill these up. We're going to check this out. Manure in the front, water in the back. Let's come through. Let's see if we can... Uh, See if we can actually dump. Will it let us dump this and will it dump good? Yes, it will. It's not gonna be near enough, but it works nonetheless. There is your manure and that closes back down. And then we come around and we do the same thing with the water. If we can continue not to run into things. Here we go, nice and easy. Back this up and drop off the water and it's taking the water and we see our water fill level so it's going to take 3000 liters of manure and it's going to take 2000 liters of water to fill these up and i believe that is respectively the same on both now just like 17 you will have to get your water fairly close or else it's not going to do a darn thing there we go very, very good. Very, very good. Same thing there. 2,000 liters of water, 3,000 liters of manure. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. We have awesome, awesome mods. Today was a good day. Today was a very good day. Again, everything is available for console and PC. So know that right off the bat. As well as all of the mods that I've shown you guys in this video, we also have an update for Estancia Lapacho. It should be fixing the grass so you can put grass in there and paint it and all that good stuff. As well as most modders know what's going on. I know that Alien Gem has already 
already, yesterday even, not today, yesterday, sent in an update for Mercury Farms to Giants so that you can paint grass textures. So cool, so awesome. The modding community is amazing. And Alien Jim, you at the top of that list, buddy. You the man. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you aren't, please subscribe. If you have any questions about these, let me know down in the comment section below. Myself or the community would be happy to help you guys out. With that being said, I hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.